the story, Mother. You are all space truckers on the Star Freighter USCSS Montero, running the gauntlet, the trade route between Anchor Point Station and the Frontier. Your ship's cargo hold is packed with dozens of heavy tanks of dangerous tritium gas uh, that is in the process of decaying into extremely profitable helium-3. Usually cargo such as this, uh, such as these are towed in massive tanker modules that transport much higher concentrations of the gas, a safe distance from a freight hauler. The Montero isn't rated as a commercial towing vehicle, however, and this small run is a special order for a Wayland yutani corporate account on Sutter's World, a newly established frontier colony. While the trip so far has been fairly routine, the Montero's sensors developed a glitch before you left Anchor Point and sporadically pinged contact with a sensor reflection before you activated an, uh, the displacement drive and went FTL. Your cargo run so far has been without incident. Now you are just awakening from hypersleep, ready to deliver your goods to the colony of Sutter's World. So at this point, the lights of the Montero are on. Your pods have all opened up. Your hypersleep pods have all opened up. And you guys are feeling the grogginess of stepping out for the first time in hypersleep. Sometimes uh, in hypersleep, you guys are asleep for months. Um, so this is you guys kind of climbing out. I am going to share with you the blueprint of the Montero. So this is going to be in your um, in your handouts. There is a blueprint of the Montero here that you guys can take a take a look at. So you guys can see where the location of the bridge, the galley, the med lab. You've got the cryo chamber. That's where you guys are just kind of emerging out from. Uh, after coming out of your your hypersleep and I also have that uh, if you guys are in roll 20 I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna move you guys over to the Montero map so you guys can kind of see it on the actual big big screen there so at this point, you're all waking up. You're very groggy. You're you're um, you're trying to regain your senses. Uh, you feel a little n nauseous, almost uh, probably a little bit dehydrated. So most of the time, the first thing that that individuals do, they they got to have something to eat, something to uh, some kind of nourishment. The galley is your area on the ship where you guys normally lo uh, kind of gather together for food. Uh, usually used as a place for um, discussing uh, matters that are important uh, based on the captain and what, what the captain's orders are, things of that nature. So you guys are all starting to just enter the galley uh, after hypersleep and getting yourselves kind of uh, in order, clothed from out of your lockers and stuff like that. Uh, why don't we go ahead and Alex, since you're the captain, we're gonna go ahead and start with you and you can just introduce your character briefly uh, as you're entering the galley. Yeah, uh, so I'm playing Captain Vanessa Miller, captain of the Montero, um, and she is a dutiful employee of Wayland Utani. Um, she's, um, yeah, you know, tries to tries to keep this crew together, um, tries to keep the ship well maintained, um, and um, is is very much a rules follower. Um, she's. You know, anytime there's something that's a little, little bit off, uh, she's wanting to kind of check with, uh, checking on the the policies and procedures manual, um, checking in with Wilson to see, you know, is this is this okay or is this an allowable expense? Because she's been dinged before, and she's often getting her paycheck kind of dedu little deductions and whatnot. And so there's a little bit of like stress or, you know, there's a lot of friction between her and uh, a Wilson because of that. Um, 
and so they get into little petty arguments maybe once in a while about uh, such things but for the most part she just wants to get on with um you know try to keep the peace and uh stuff like that so okay perfect uh, as you kind of make your way into uh, get something, uh, there's there's these interesting packets uh, contained within here that are are, are high are called hydration, uh, and they're spelled with an eight in the middle. Uh, <laughs> so you guys can uh, you kind of quickly grab some of these packets, which are kind of like this like a jelly kind of ooze type substance that you guys can can munch on that actually has quite uh, quite a bit of nutrients. Not the best uh, flavored stuff uh, but they try to mask it it's kind of like you know uh, if you've ever had uh, some kind of uh, protein power bar or something like that you know how they start to say oh this tastes like peanut butter and you take a bite and it does taste nothing like peanut butter uh, that's kind of the <laughs> that's, that's what that's what this stuff kind of tastes like this you 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 get like the, the strawberry shortcake uh, <laughs> it's flavor and it does not taste like that at all um, also entering the room is your your ship's pilot. Uh, Jason, would you like to introduce your character? Yeah, my uh, my character is kind of little little twitchy looking, kind of annoyed, very very tired looking, um, coming out of the the sleep pods. Uh, her name's Leah Davis. Um, she is the pilot, and she is a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Uh, doesn't really doesn't really like to do things uh, by the book because uh, the book lets off within the safety limits and there's always more to push. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, yeah, that's that's about what she's doing. And uh, as she's uh, as she's taking her little hydration packet, she's uh, slipping a little little something extra out of a bottle into the uh, the pack to wash down. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Um, fantastic. Actually, uh, our next two individuals kind of walk into the galley together. Um, I'm going to start with our ship's handler, uh, Paul, if you'd like to introduce your character. Uh, my character is Lyran Cam, or Cham. I don't know how it's pronounced. I guess I can choose. Yeah, you can choose uh, yeah. I'm going to go with Cam. Uh, and uh, Lyran, uh, Anna. I know I say this every time we get up, but I'm just really glad to be here, guys. It's really good to see you all. <laughs> y'all, y'all have good. Yeah, everybody get good. Y'all got good sleep. I mean, it's all artificial, but you had a good sleep. You had a good sleep. I had a good sleep. Jesus brought us back. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna take some some. Oh man, I got bubble gum flavored again. <laughs> it's the worst. Uh, and then I'm just gonna walk on like, how you doing? <laughs> just... and, and you look over to your uh, your your good pal, uh, <sighs> Arai. Uh, so uh, yeah. Winston, if you'd like to uh, introduce your character. Yeah, so I am I'm playing Kayla Rai, and uh, Rai is um, a bit of a a bit of a downer. She grew up in a troubled life, poor poor family back home and uh, had the idea that if she went to the stars and listed into uh, service somewhere that she'd be making money and, and all of her problems would be solved. And it's turned out to be completely the same. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, Al, uh, Michael, what's, what's your language preference on the channel? <laughs> I gotta be careful with the ride. Um, with with alien, uh, you can you can push the boundaries a little bit. I'm I'm okay with that. Right. So, <laughs> same old same old shit. <laughs> That's what, right. what Rai Rai sees uh, up here, and she doesn't get along with many people. She's in particular uh, constantly undercutting the captain's decisions. She she thinks that part of the reason why uh, the ship has been unsuccessful, we haven't made money, is because of the captain. Is you know basically making poor choices, uh, directly blames her for it, and uh, the only person that she thinks has any kind of uh, sense is is uh, you said Ham is that right? Lyran, yeah, Ham, yeah. Lyran, yeah. She likes she calls him uh, Lyran because it's actually his buddy or her buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, she thinks that Lyran, uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. As she walks in, she's yawning. She pulls her. Uh, she grabs a cup of coffee, or the closest thing there is to coffee on the ship, oh, and sits down. Flavor. 
Yeah, Kashi <laughs> pops a coffee pot in. It squirts out uh, some kind of uh, liquid and takes a big sip of the hot cup and pulls her trucker hat over her eyes and is like, oh, Lyron, you know I didn't have good sleep. I never sleep well on those things. Ugh. What the hell is going on up here anyways? Why are we awake? Well, we obviously it's because we, we're about to get into uh, Sutter's world. So finish up eating. We snap, snap. We gotta, we gotta land. We gotta get these tanks unloaded. We got a lot of work to do today. And at that moment, uh, in walks uh, your corporate liaison, uh, John Wilson. Uh, Matthew, do you want to introduce your character as you make your way to the galley? You're uh, you're muted, man. There you go. <laughs> I don't remember not to do that. <laughs> um, this person, uh, Wilson, obviously doesn't really fit in here. He walks in, you know, collared shirt, buttoned closely, has a small pad in his hand, and already as he's walking out, sort of rubs his eye and seems to be jotting something down on it, rumbling through. No, no. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're on schedule. Everything... Everything is good here. Uh, that, that's what you're saying, but uh, we shall see. It does. What are you writing? We, we will discuss this afterwards. Go on, go on, <sighs> step aside. He goes over, tries to start finding something to get something in his stomach. Uh, you guys would all be aware and under the pressures of knowing that Wilson has been evaluating you guys the last six months. Uh, and keeps that clipboard mighty close uh, in all situations. <laughs> it's in the pod. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so you guys are here enjoying some uh, food here in the galley, or what, what you call enjoying, I guess. Uh, the flavor is not very good. The coffee is kind of like a thick sludge. Uh, it's not the greatest... Uh, stuff in the world, but you've kind of gotten used to it uh, with your profession and uh, hopefully, in only a matter of time, you will be at some place where you can get some uh, decent food and uh, and beverage uh, what um, what exactly do you guys want to do here after, as you guys are having your meal? I think uh uh, Vanessa's gonna go over to uh, Davis and sort of discreetly kind of be like you know um, as soon as you can get get us into port you know if you whatever you gotta do you know if you want to cut some corners or whatever to get us in quicker that might be the best because we we really gotta get going here yeah, I cut like four corners getting us to this point but you know I don't what? need to know about it I don't need to know about it but <laughs> It gives a little wink. Hey, I'll, 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 uh, I'll just, I'll just be like, I'll, I'll, sh I'll shake the little pill bottle I got in my pocket. It's like, hey, I just need a little bit more from, uh, from the med bay. If you can, if you can hook me up, I'll make sure we get us there. I'll be able to knock a couple hours off. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll head to, I'll, I'll head, uh, Leo will head to the, to the, uh, you gonna head to the uh, bridge? That's the word. Yep. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. If you guys wanna, you guys can move your character tokens at any point in time to whatever locations that you guys are visiting or, or being a part of. Um, oh, I don't, I don't oh, know if it's we just are, me, we but... are we are black screened. You're black screened. Whoa, yeah. that's weird. I don't know if our tokens are sighted. This is it, we're, we unfortunately. Void of I'm taking yeah. I'm taking the void oh, of war off. You should be able to see uh, now. Do you guys have uh, control of your ooh, tokens nope. now? You should yep. all be Fine kind not. of there in the in the galley. I apologize for that. I'm um, good. Leah, Leah's gonna go up to the bridge here. Take her, take her nice pilot seat. Okay. Took some time for the coffee to kick in. That's all. Is it, is it? Yeah, you take, take the pilot seat. Seeing that all the uh, the lights are kind of flickering around on the computer systems. Uh, those of you familiar with the 1979 uh, movie, uh, the computer systems are uh, imagine like uh, what people in the 19 uh, late 70s and early 80s felt like the future was going to look like uh and basically it's like big clunky computers uh 
flashing lights and symbols everywhere. Uh, it's nowhere near what like technology is like today, and it's nowhere near like what the if you've ever watched Prometheus or Alien Covenant, it's nowhere near what those kind of technology levels are, uh, which to me uh, draws question of why those were prequels and it just doesn't match up with the movies. But hey, that's a debate for another time. Uh, so imagine like what people thought the future was going to be like uh, back then and that's what your computer systems look like here uh, uh, Davis as you make your way into the uh, the ship's bridge <laughs> uh, what exactly would you like to do as you sit down here uh, in the in the pilot's chair uh, I'm gonna just try to like auto plot how long it's going to take based on current settings of the ship and then just start turning off safeties until it gets like a couple hours faster okay okay um you do feel as if uh, you you could try this uh, you do know the qualifications of your fellow crewmates uh, your technician, your computer, uh, basically your computer whiz, uh, which would be Rai, would probably be a uh, more suited individual to kind of co-pilot and do all those kind of computer uh, functions for you. Mm. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. Mm -hmm. But you can do it if you would like to, uh, or you can reach out I'm to gonna, Rai. I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'll probably, <laughs> like, I'll take, I'll take a look and see what, like, could be shaved, and then just, like, say, hey, Rai, I, uh... Can you can you shut down this this breaker over here? I need I need a little bit more power to the engines. Ah, oh, God! All right, Davis. If we just get if we get this port fast enough, uh, I'll do it. Let me take a look. Let me see what you're doing in here. Don't worry, hey, hey, don't touch that! Don't touch that! <laughs> oh no, it's it's fine. It's fine. That was uh that was my coffee. That was my coffee holder switch. It's fine. All right. So I'll take a look at the computer systems and see if there's anything I can do to help uh you know <laughs> make this more a uh, more dangerous flight <laughs> okay uh, gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like i'm gonna check the fuel levels and make sure that it's, it's like you know we can lose we can lose a little bit we can lose like 10 percent efficiency to get a little bit more power i'm not too Ooh, worried about it interesting based on what we got. very cool uh here's what i want to do i want to have um we're gonna make our first two rolls of the game here. Uh, first thing I'd like to do, since right. you're checking the fuel levels, I'm gonna call this just like your general piloting knowledge for this, uh, Davis. So basically what I want you to do is I want you to make a piloting rule. Um, and yeah, if you just click on piloting on your character sheet, it should just automatically roll it over there in roll 20. And you're just looking to roll a target symbol like a six. That's what, that's okay. what you want. Um, it's asking for modifiers. There so is no modifier for this roll, so you just hit OK and submit. Oh, look at that. Two successes. So, yes, you succeed. Uh, the nice. way the way multiple successes work in this game is if you guys uh, do me a favor, click on your character's tokens. And at the top, do you guys see like a list of token actions for your characters? Does it show yes. you guys token actions? If you click yes. on piloting under that, uh, Jason, it will give you a list of different uh, s um, stunts that you can do. So you can spend your additional ones on a stunt based off of that list. So you, I, uh, oh, so there you go. Yep. So skill. Well, that was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You clicked. Uh, on no, it. that's fine. Um, you can so either gain I'm, a plus one on your next piloting check, or you can show off. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna show off because it's. It's it's been, uh, I don't think I had dreams during that several months of hypersleep. So, okay, let's kind of shake myself awake here. All right, yeah. So, kind of nonchalantly looking, as just pressing buttons and 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 moving some different things around over there with Rai uh, uh, next to her. Davis is just kind of going through, drinking this cup of coffee and making these, uh, looking at these fuel cells. I, something's odd uh, to you. Uh, Davis, the, the, the fuel cells are not reading what you would anticipate uh, you should be reading to be reaching your destination. If we're over or under? You're over. Hmm. I'm going to lean over to Ryze again. We're actually a, little, a lot better than I thought we were doing. Um, mm. That doesn't sound right. Not, not in this ship. Uh, let me see what's going on, and I'm gonna try to pull up the, like the, the course we've been on. Look, look at the what the autopilot has been tracking us on. Okay. And I'm, 
Well, I was originally going in there to see if I could convince the computer to let us take uh, a custom route. Yeah. Okay. But uh, now I'm hearing that, I'm thinking, okay, let me, let me pull up where we're at. What's going on? Okay. Go ahead and make a calm tech roll. Uh, you are going to add a okay. plus one modification to this because uh, Jason's character, Davis, liter- uh, ba- I remember her saying something like she was going to use the fuel cell uh, sequence to help you. So that one modification is going right. to be added. So what it does is it adds an extra die to your roll. And you got a success. Look at that. <laughs> so with one success, you have determined you are nowhere near your destination. For some reason, you guys have been um, rerouted, and you're in deep space. Oh, well, this can't be right. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hold on. And I try to, like, make sure it's not a malfunction in the computer, check it out, and... Oh, we gotta get the captain in here. Captain! Actually, are there intercoms in the in the in the ship? There are. They're kind of like intercoms that are on the wall. Like you can just like, press a button to just uh, display your voice yeah. throughout the whole ship. You can do that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna press a button on the on the cap uh, or hit the uh, the. Wow, I just said the thing. Hit the button that makes the, <laughs> the intercom. Thank you. <laughs> oh god, I'm still having fuzzies from the sleep. Uh, <laughs> captain, captain. Uh, we need you up here immediately. Uh, okay, just just one second there, Rai. Um, no, and then we don't have a second. You got to get up here now. Uh, ten four. Um, release it, <laughs> and then I'm gonna turn to Ham. Come. Come. Uh, how did you pronounce it? <laughs> Come. That's all right. Come. Okay. Yeah. Come. Um, I gotta see what's going on with the bridge. Uh, why don't you and Wilson, you know, go and check out the the tanks of the tritium gas? You know, we got to do some inspection. You know, just make sure, you know, routine kind of stuff. Make sure that nothing's leaking, that we haven't lost any inventory. Um, you would be able to do that for me. I'm gonna put my hand on her shoulder and say, "Of course, Captain. Anything you need, I'm here for you. We got this." All right, now I'm just gonna go over, John. If you'd follow me, sir. Suppose <laughs> let us get this over with. Let's check the company's interest. Yeah, interest. So basically, to get to that location, uh, Com and Wilson, you guys would be going. There's a, like a a little symbol of of a ladder over here to the left on that map. You guys would actually have to descend uh, to another level. And if you look over on the left side of your your map, you can see where there is like the the tank Pitch. storage and stuff like that. Um, so you guys would actually be going into a much larger chamber underneath the the vessel uh, to check on these these tanks. And while you guys are doing that, uh, Captain Miller is headed up to the bridge and uh, approaches uh, Davis and Rye. And as I open up the door, like, I'm very quickly, like, shutting it. I'm kind of looking over my shoulder. I'm, like, really glad that, you know, this sounds bad, whatever it is. And I want to resolve this as, as immediate as I can. So, like, I'm, like, like speed walking over there to check in and say, right, what, what, what's going on? You want to you wanna break it to her, Davis? Hey, Cap. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna point onto this the display for outside. It's like you see see that right there. I'm just like pointing at the, some some spot. It's like that's deep space. <clears throat> uh, we're we're off course a lot. What what the how how did this happen? Is it? I'll tell you. The... I'll tell you how it happened, Miller. You have been pushing Davis to take shortcuts and feeding her uh, her junky ways. And it's put us out here in the middle of nowhere. Now we're not going to get paid. That's what's happened. I represent that remark. <laughs> is this true? Is this is is this because you're all strung out on the pills? I, I mean, maybe, but no. I I, I know mean, I did maybe. I knew I know I did <laughs> everything I know. right. Every, but no. Tell me what I want to hear. Right. Look, Cap, I got you. This is. There was there was there was something as we were jumping into FTL. 
I, I, I saw his little little blip, but it it didn't seem to affect anything at the time. I don't. That's that's all I that's all I remember before hypersleep. And interrupting your Vanessa conversation, just... interrupting your conversation, uh, right? Uh, the computer starts to to beep in front of you. You're getting some sort of ping. All right. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Maybe maybe this is something. Uh, let me take a look. Needlessly typing like you did back in the old old movies. A typewriter. Oh, how uh, quaint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you are. It's one of your sensors uh, from the computer system of the ship is actually um, reporting a, uh, a a ping of something approaching, and then it just blips off screen and disappears. <laughs> uh, Davis is gonna like kind of like slowly turn over to uh, Rai. So, uh, I know I'm piloting the ship, right? What's going on with the systems, bud? I, I, I don't know. It, it, this is, uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me, uh, let me pull in diagnostic mode. And I'm going to switch up and try to run diagnostics on the systems. See if there's something, if there's like a, a bug in the system or some kind of error in the sensors. Okay. Uh, while sure. he's doing that, can I pull up like outside cams? Just to look, just to look around outside. If, is that something that the ship has? Uh, the ship does have just general outside cams and floodlights and things of that nature. So yeah, you could fire those up uh, and take a look. Most of it is um, spotty. You're going to have areas where it doesn't quite pick up because of the way the cam yeah. systems are set up with this technology. Um, and of course, you guys got the big window in the front that you guys can basically right. look out of if you need to. Um, yeah, so yeah, go I mean, ahead and just make a like, make a standard. Is there um I can't remember. Is there an observation role in this game? You're gonna make an observation role, and I need another com tech role from Rai, uh, going through running diagnostics on this on this system. Uh, Captain Miller, is there anything that you want to be doing in this uh, moment? Or are you just kind of like hovering over them in the process? Um, of all I'm this? sort of. I'm sort of observing, but I'm kind of out of my element with really, you know, I probably understand some of what Rai is doing, but, you know, I'm not, like, scrutinizing that. But I'm thinking, like, if there's, is there, like, a way for me to maybe, like, check a log of maybe abnormalities that happened while we were in uh, uh, hibernation or to see if we've got any updates that maybe have come from Wayland yutani about abnormalities that maybe we, we should have been aware of. Uh, you would know as the captain of the vessel that you would you could go, uh, you are the only one that has permission to go into the, the computer terminal chamber uh, labeled Mother on your uh, map. So if you wanted oh. actually that information, you yourself could go in there using your uh, command code and it would allow you in as captain of the vessel. Um, so okay, you could I'll do, do that. that. Okay. So it looks like uh, Captain Miller is looking like she's uh, getting ready to go into the chamber of Mother. Uh, Rye, di running diagnostics, everything seems perfectly normal. There's The computers are running fine. Engines are running stable. Everything is exactly the way it should be, other than the fact you are nowhere near where you're supposed to be. <clears throat> it's a uh, ship's running, running clean, Davis. Yeah, it's, right. it's not not the systems. Hey, look, I, I I threw all the cams on. I'm making sure that I'm not hitting anything in the middle of deep space because of some malfunction. So it's the last thing we need. And with a success on your observation roll, you're able to like look around outside. There is just it's just the expanse of space. Um, your lighting isn't catching anything on either side of the ship. Uh, sensors all reading normal currently. Uh, you're scanning through even even you got some interior cams and one of the cams you can see that uh, that that Calm and Wilson you can see them kind of walking through as they're going. It looks like they're you got a cam on the inside of the ship like looking at the tanks, and that's where we're going to segue to uh, to Calm, uh, Calm and Wilson down below within the tanks as they can take a little scene here while that chaos is going on upstairs. Uh, well. I'm gonna go and do, like, by the book sort of rote check. So you know, 
tank okay. is still containing what it what it be set out with. Um, all the levels for I imagine like the integrity of the tanks. I'm just and I'm very cognizant of the of the digital clipboard behind me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, so I'm doing everything by the book, but I'm starting to have a bead of sweat. You know, like. And what comes after this? Okay, then I do this. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm uh, because I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna because you just described that narratively, I'm going to add our first stress mechanic to the game. Uh, Fun. I'd like you to take one point of stress for your character. Uh, yeah, I just click, click. I just click. You, you click. Click, it. click on yep. one. Okay. Uh, one stress, and basically, anytime you roll now, it's going to add a yellow die to your die pool, which will be a stress die. Okay. Uh, and the more that builds up. Uh, the more dangerous those panic rolls become for your character and what happens. Uh, so you take a point of stress, and what I'd like you to do is I want you to make a heavy machinery check okay. as you're as you're looking over these, just uh, scanning the tanks, making sure everything's no, normal. No modifiers, right? Just roll it. Just roll it. Yep, it should be pretty good for you with your. Oh, look, you got a success with your stress die. So the, the, the pressure of having that clipboard behind you has <laughs> helped you to remember everything that you needed to remember to, to, nice. see, <laughs> to see that these tanks are uh, very secure. And if you want to click on your character, there is a, um, a bar that will come up and there is a heavy machinery tab. If you click on that, you can actually use one of those to do an extra stunt. Uh, any of those things... Um, will do, or whatever you think is more appropriate for the narrative currently. Uh, uh, I'm I'm going to use, you got this, you don't need to roll to overcome the exact same challenge in the future. Fantastic. <laughs> that, that seems like I'm good at my job, I'm good at my job, and I'm a good team player. <laughs> um, Mr. Mr. Wilson, I just want you to know I'm a, I'm a I'm a good team player, and and I'm here for the success of the company. Um, we're we're making great time on this inspection. It is, it is rather impressive. It's, 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 it, you seem to be much more efficient than your leader is. Oh yeah. Well, you know. Uh, it's nice she's, to have company-minded individuals. Oh no no uh, yeah no oh, Captain. Oh man no I didn't want to throw Captain Miller under the under the space tanker. I just. <laughs> What uh, you know? She's great. I I we're all a great team. We're like a family. Some of us are dysfunctional, but but we're, but we're a good fan. We're a good team. And I'm just gonna keep going about my business. <laughs> like oh crap! Now I made the captain look bad. Oh, but but Wilson, uh, uh calm is pretty pretty amazing. Uh, he's yeah. going through and. Pretty much doing it by the book, covering all his bases. Everything seems to be normal, Calm. I mean, everything, uh, the, the tanks are stable. Nothing seems to have damaged them or caused any harm to the to the tanks at all. So um, if you get these to their location, it's a good payday for you and your crew and probably a very good impress impression on the company uh, to get these there. Is there yeah. any other supplies down here that Wilson is able to see? Yeah, you guys do As notice that you guys have... Thing on for that few moments and just being like holy shit this guy's efficient he no oh, he knows what he's doing i don't have to parade over him like i do with the captain you know it's <laughs> joe starts just sort of looking around a little bit like okay, let's see what else is down here uh, really most of it is tanks uh you do see in the the there's like a um i don't know if it's listed on here or not there is a kind of like a flat bed um, hauler called the Daisy. It's like a small vessel that's like a uh, that oh, you could train. It's down at the bottom right hand corner of the map. It's kind of like a little mm -hmm. space vessel that's like a flatbed truck that you guys have used to load these tanks and stuff. Uh, for it, it, it looks like it's like a small spacecraft that couldn't like travel very far, but it's just used for like hauling and loading different uh, materials and equipment. You guys also have one of those uh, power loaders. If you remember the movie Aliens, where she puts on that suit and it has those mechanical arms, there is one of those stored here in the tank center. So that is uh, in the. That's what calm you're really good at using those you've been able to you basically loaded all these unloaded the daisy and unloaded the daisy all yourself using that that unit need to do it <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It and, looks uh, like that's all in like good stowed condition. Oh yeah, it's, it uh, Com takes good care of it. Like it, it does look like it's in perfect shape. Yep. And you can see he just taking notes again, and again, Dom's probably a little uh, busy doing their thing, but a slight smile is creeping up on Wilson's face, like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, just panning up to the captain walking into Mother's Chamber. Uh, the computers start to fire up, and you've got all these lights kind of flickering all around you. You've got computer screens in front of you and this small, like, little keyboard as you twist and move your, your rotating chair uh, into, your, into your spot. A comfortable place that you've known for quite some time being the captain of the ship. Uh, you type in some of the, uh, the commands to... Uh, address some of these issues that you were talking about wanting to try to figure out uh, through the through the computer um, you start seeing a lot of these you know computer systems and numbers just start to, to go across the screen and then finally you start to get some information uh, mother has apparently picked up a distress call from an unknown ship um, and you guys have been um, aw awakened from your hypersleep to investigate. Um, it seems as if Mother is, is, it's an unknown transmission. Other than it's a distress call. That's all that can be, uh, that's all that's told uh, through Mother. And, um... And you would know uh, it's company policy that if something like this happens uh, and ships are rerouted or things like that, it is it's your it's your it's now your goal to do that or you forfeit all of your shares of your current mission. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, I've got this information. I'm going to go back out to the bridge where Davis and Rye are. And okay. I'm going to say, first of all, uh, both of you, I just want you to know you're both essential and valuable members of this team. Um, Rye, I'm taking your, what you said, optics are everything. I understand, you know, Davis, we'll have to kind of work on, you know, the substance abuse thing um, slowly, right? You, you know, and kind of turning to Rye to like explain, you know, you don't want to do these things too quickly because that could be bad too. So, you know, once we once we get back to port, we'll, we'll work on that, we'll deal with that, um, make sure everyone's happy. But good news, not my fault. I'm blameless in this particular situation. In fact, everything is normal. Um, there was a distress call that we received and Everything is good. We, we, we are awoke because we need to deal with that distress call. We got some folks out there. Maybe they need some rescuing and no problem here. We should probably let the others know so we can kind of get, get the team together. Conference in the galley, right? Uh, well, that's, that's a lot more interesting than uh, everything falling apart around us. So sure, uh, I didn't see any ships out there, but you know what? I trust your judgment. Whatever you say, Captain. Did I'm gonna catch anything? Davis's arm. Oh, go ahead. Uh, just uh, what? What did you learn, uh, Ry? Did you pick up any additional info looking through the systems? Oh, everything looks looks good. Uh, like I said, uh, nothing nothing's wrong with the ship. All everything checks out. Red lights begin to flash okay. immediately. Oh. <laughs> uh, so in in character, I think Davis would also immediately crack up on his. 